All right, first thing first, we're not ready for hard mode. Ah, that feels better. Second thing, there's a butterfly right here. Second thing out the way. The third thing, we've been approaching this game wrong. I thought about it. I went over the game tapes. I've been going back and forth. Ever since we got to the boss of this temple here, I realized something. We are severely underpowered. Now, we've been brute fisting our way through this entire time. Smashing all the enemies, dying, coming back to life. Smashing enemies, dying, coming back to life. But that's not how I'm supposed to play this game. We are supposed to be grinding. Now, we could either spend hours upon hours on grinding all the unique items and all of the unique equipment so to get the necessary things to level up or we can grind a few of the items and craft the necessary things that we need for this build that we're doing. I'm going to go with the latter. So instead of both forcing our way through the boss and failing over and over and over again, we want to backtrack a bit. We want to craft some decent items and then we're going to give another shot at the boss in normal mode. Now look, there's a reason why I'm doing this. I've looked at the game tapes and we've been getting our ass whipped. Even by the normal mobs. And that's only going to continue unless we do something about it now. So what we're going to do, we're going to get stronger and make this a little bit easier on ourselves. Because I don't want to make this into some sort of roguelike one tap fest. Because I've been getting one tapped and two tapped by regular mobs and that's getting annoying. Now look, I kid you not, I did fight the boss. I did. I did pretty good too. I fought the boss for an entire hour. And I'm definitely going to release that video. I fought this boss for an entire hour straight. I switched up my build. I switched things around. I went back and grinded a bit more. A complete hour. And I could not beat it. Then I realized we've hit a brick wall. We didn't do a lot of grinding in this game. But this game is called Secrets of Grindia. So we're going to have to do some grinding. But to prevent us having to do a whole 10 hour grind just to beat this boss. I did lower the difficulty. With that being said, let's get into the objective now. We're going to go into the crafting menu real quick. Now, there's a few items that I want to get to craft that we don't have that we can get stronger immediately. There's an item right here we can get. We're going to have to get purple petals and track down the purple petals by taking down some of those mobs in the, the woods. We can also get a two handed weapon right here. We can get these from the lanterns. We need to track down some of these lanterns from the scarecrows let's go do that and as you can see this weapon is very powerful and there's one more thing i want to get i want to get a better shield so we're going to backtrack a bit again and we're going to also come back and farm some of these shards from the crystal so let's get it going Believe it or not, after I fought that boss, took some time off, cut the game off, you know, did about a whole, a day about, I did about a complete day of thinking about it. Then I realized, unless I want to continue to make this a frustrating run or frustrating playthrough, I should probably adjust now before it gets too crazy. And as you can see, this is about where we should be in this game. We were getting severely one tap before, which is unacceptable. Now, I do plan on doing some stuff with the hard mode playthrough. I even want to do like some Iron Man style streams and do the arena in hard mode, but it was getting completely frustrating after I got brick walled by that boss. And being as though I do want to do some farming and crafting of other good stuff, it's better if we do it like this. So let's get a little grind session and get the necessary items that we need and then we'll make our way back to the temple. That feels amazing. We gotta wait for the, gr the spawn rates to go up a bit. And we also did get severely stronger on our own. But I do want to level up a lot more. I want to get at least one or two more levels. Purple petals should be here. Yep. 
Hold on, we get the opportunity to get the purple petals. There's some fish I want to get, but we're not going to farm for fish right now. These are the guys we need right here. We need them to drop lanterns like crazy. This guy wanted a red scarf, right? Oh, uh, he want purple petals. Should we give him some of our purple petals? Oh, okay. I know what he wants. He wants the thing we can craft from the purple petals. I can actually defend myself. It feels great. We were dealing with some serious frame rate stuff, too, that was preventing me from blocking properly against the boss. Man, I'm going to release that video of us losing for an entire hour straight. I got so close so many times. It was just super frustrating to get so close and just get one tap. It was insane. I think we'll stay here. Got everything we need over here in this area. And there's another thing. I want to rearrange our skills a bit. Once we get a chance to, we're going to do that too. Rearrange our skills a bit. Yeah, we can farm some ectoplasm too. drop rates we, can, we still can die obviously especially when the, the drop the mobs start increasing so we got an elite over here of elites over here good that might give us what we need oh we got a jack o lantern card magic attack by 15 another good reason why we should we should grind we get cards we got more lanterns good oh they about to get at me they about to get at me Almost died there. As you can see, the game is still extremely hard, even when you put it on a lower difficulty. Hard mode, you're gonna have to grind for a long time to make it, you know, a little more even playing field because you're gonna need all the best weapons and all the best items just to get to through that boss. I'm trying to focus, especially on these elites. Oh, 
Oh, I could craft it. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, let me track this item that I want to craft. Let's do that now. Um, go here. I forgot about this feature. This is a dope feature. Let's track this item. Oh, I can craft it already. Okay. Let's craft it. Let's go. The smash light. A weapon crafted by a clever attaching a lance into a branch might burn enemies. Let's go. Attack and magic attack go up. Untracked it. Yep, yep, yep. Wait, what's the next item we're going to track before we get out of this menu? Um, a shield, the headgear. We need the purple petals. Now let's go to equip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it still has the, the crescent attack. Let's go. I got the roots. I need way more purple petals, though. I'm trying to drink this juice to get more coins. I gotta chill out. elites all over the place more and more elites keep spawning the longer you stay in one area too i'm not getting purple petals these are the rare items I'm not even 100% sure if they, yeah, they do drop purple petals. I was like, as soon as I said it, they dropped them. And this is probably the best spot to farm it. So I guess we just gotta wait here. They got ghost over here too? got those. I wonder if we get petals just from knocking over flowers. We're about to get a level up too. to give me more purple petals than that. I can see him now. I can see him now. Yeah. Even though I'm still getting hit. I gotta remember. I gotta change direction before I swing again. I can't spam the, the, the swing button. We're getting a lot of supplies from other mobs as well, so that's why I don't mind this shit right now. You know what? I'm going to start using the D-pad. That'll help me with my aiming a lot better. I don't need to go. If I stop trying to go diagonal, I'll actually target better. That's how I got, I got a feeling. Look at that. This game wasn't created with a D-pad in mind. This is an SNES style game. I need to use the, the normal D-pad. This game wasn't created with an analog in mind. 
which is what I meant to say. Watch this. Perfect block. Perfect block. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, sent that back. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, that, yeah, this is way better. Pumpkin stems. I need those for something. Eight more. Eight more. Come on. You got one for me? You gotta have one. Nope. Pollen. Pollen is rare, though. <clears throat> Pollen is one of the rare drops. Trophy unlock. Left the reward. Make sure I'm not missing no pedals. I respect the elites. Yeah, that one crept up on me. Only, I'm only going to need one shard from the other one, so I'm not worried about them. Okay. Good thing we did clear the dungeon, so we don't have to clear it again when we get back over there. Then we got the teleporter. God damn, they bum rushing. There we go. We got an elite. Oh, we got a card. Oh, good. Priest, oh my god, that is amazing. That is crazy how we get a card. We got two cards over here for me. Oh, we gotta chill out. We don't got that card yet. We missing six more. Oh, here we go. Five more. Oh, we about to die. Be careful. Yeah, I can actually dodge him now too with the, the D-pad. It's way more simple. I feel like um you don't move the the, the analog. This doesn't feel right. The response time is a little bit off when it comes to games like this. It's so crazy. I played this game 13 years ago and it's still dope to this day. It's still just as addictive and fun as it was 13 years ago. It's just great game design. That's what that means. Anytime where your character gets stronger and you like physically get better at the game just by playing it because the, because of the skill gap or the learning curve. Anytime that happens simultaneously, that's great game design because even though I'm leveling up and getting physically stronger, getting items, getting more stuff to craft, I'm still getting better at the game just by playing it. It's not just like adding systems like you get physically better at the game with muscle memory and understanding each each unit's unique attack pattern. Every single unit has a unique attack pattern. So it's like, once you get used to that, you start to be able to move through these wicked crowds of enemies just way better, way more efficient. And you understand where to attack them from, like how to start attacking, when to move, when to stop an attack, when to block. 
I wasn't really paying that stuff as much attention last time. And, and plus, I didn't have enough time in the game. That hour-long session of playing that boss taught me a lot about mechanics. Some mechanics are like, there's almost no way to dodge them. You have to block. And even if you're blocking, you don't got enough shield. You're not going to be able to block enough of the damage. So you're going to get taken out anyway. Man, I mean, I was going through holes points where I was getting several perfect blocks in a row. Like, four or five perfect blocks in a row. Go through all of that and still get critted and get one shot. Like, come on, man. Insane. Oh, got the last card. Scarecrow. And we getting passive upgrades. Oh, man, we got a lot of money now. Hold on. Oh, we got the pedals, too. We out of here. We out of here, boys. I'm sitting here grinding and talking shit. We out of here. Let's get out of here. We out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We can use the map, actually. Let's go straight to the temple. Good. Now, let's craft that item. That headgear. Yeah. Now, let's look at it. It's probably going to look dumb. But we don't have to look. We don't have to wear it. Purple petal garland. Yep. Yeah, we still got this. You know what? I want to actually quick something else for style. We haven't wore this yet. All right, now we got to grind the shield. I want to get that new shield too, so let's do it. Wait, we actually got to level up first. Talent. Now, there's a thing with the talents I was thinking about. Now, if we go to the talents real quick. There's the shield talent. That lets us block more stuff, but there's another talent I want to get. Where is it? It's not a general. It's a magic talent. This right here. When our EP is below 50%, we gain 10% magic attack per level. So let's upgrade this, right? And we're going to upgrade this two more times because our EP is always below 10%. Always below 50% at all times because we always have two summons out. So we're always going to be able to take advantage of that skill specifically. So let's do that for now. Now let's track something. It's going to be simple enough. We're only going to need one rare shard to drop. So let's get it in. Them um, shards is tough though. I would say that. Metal pieces here. We got a lot. Yeah, this is a spot to grind these these shards at. Again, see, not using the D-pad. We're gonna wait for some stuff to spawn. All right, this should make more stuff spawn now. This is gonna we're gonna be having more than 20k when we get up out of here. Oh 
Oh, we got a card out of that? Whoa. I did not expect that. And we got a crystal out of that that fast. We got the card and the crystal. Whoa, hold up. And we got an accessory out of that. Hold up. Did we just get a card, a crystal, and a, a rare accessory all that fast? That was insane. Um, That was actually insane. Got another Pico Feather. Let's get out of here. That was insane. I got to check this out. Wait, wait, hold up. Look at this. Sh hold up. Yeah, we got it. Yep. And it's better than this shield. Energy shield, baby. Hell yeah, we equipped in that. Let's go. Adds power to reflected objects. Wait, and we got an accessory, didn't we? Yeah, plasma bracelet. Increase magic attack. You know what? I'm about to say this. Later for defense right now. Yeah, we're going magic attack, man. We're going max magic attack. Let's get it. Full wizard mode. Oh, yeah, one shots for the kill. Here we go. That's how we want to be taking stuff out. All right. With all of those upgrades, now I feel like I'm finally ready for the boss. You ready, guys? Let's get it. Before we do that, I want to do one more thing. One more thing. One, we've got a talent point to level up. We're definitely going to upgrade that, but I want to see something. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we want to probably... I want to test out the other plant for now. So let's do this. Let's refund. Refund one. Refund one. Yeah, now we're going to try to the upgraded plant. First of all, we can bring him back. The regular happy little cloud. Now we got the upgraded plant. Yeah, look at that dude. All right, how much we need for the upgraded plant though? That dude looks like he cost a lot. We wanna test this out. All right, now let's go fight the boss again. Oh, the plant is doing work. He's almost dead. Oh, shit. 
Curse it all. Curse it all. <laughs> my new one freedom thwart by snot nose child. My vessel was badly chosen to bring this world to keep this knees. I'll keep something more beneficial than limitless power. For exposing the deviance of this metal golem, I have the generosity proposed for you. Become my slave and carry me throughout this pathetic world and search for a new vessel, and I shall spell your life. <laughs> Find a sidekick of your own, amulet. This one's already has a master. A fellow sentient artifact? Perhaps fortune shines upon me after all. A king will need generals. Lofty ambitions for a mere possession. That string of yours still builds the smell of your owner's neck. Owner's nonsense! How can a slave own his master? Your long vacation has made you see now. It seems, oh well. Looks like this place is some real juicy loot after all, kid. Let's bring this thing back to collect his HQ. I'm expecting great rewards. Dare not speak of me as some mere rabble drop. Your laughable delusions in here, peasant. Let me show you the true power of an artifact deity. Oh, well, fun for one day. Let's get back to Evergrind. Hope you haven't forgot how to use your teleportation device. Let's go on the map selection menu and choose your destination. Press A so I'm going to teleport. Let's go. Now, that was way, way easier than it was before. Well, that was crazy, though. Crazy. Let's teleport out of here. Back to Evergrind. Right, we back we got to go back to the hunters right oh no what's this dude what are you doing here this might be something new let's check ah fellow collector seems mixing pleasure well this is my like currently in the testing phase of meta oh, this is a new tech guy <laughs> for sure blows Ah, 95% discount, and, and I guess we get our first house. Let's actually do that. Three thousand gold, let's do it. We got a new house he's gonna build us a house they said they use the same technology as the bag so it's gonna be bigger inside than it is on the outside that's pretty dope no let's talk to this dude Oh, he's telling us about quests. You know what? We were picking up. We sitting over here picking up new quests and shit. Let's go turn in our other quests. Um. Oh, we went to the wrong place, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Oh shit, this guy. Has your father taught you anything? Come on, it should make a way for nobility. Peasants these days. I can't stand this dude. Oh, but I must compliment you on one thing. This amulet was quite the fine. It will fit perfectly in my family's artifact collection. How the fuck did he get it? What? How did he? Unforgivable. Don't let him get away, kid. Holy shit. Just as you <laughs> were to hand the amulet in, Marino took him and ran down to whatever Gon said he sent it. You can't let him push around like this catch it when him take it back was rightfully yours oh man this dude ran away with our goddamn amulet we gotta go get it back on the next episode <laughs> let's get it 
All right, we're going to take care of this dude in the next episode of Secrets of Grindy, yeah? Yeah, dope stuff. That being said, it's your boy DB4, and I'm out. Peace.